Hi guys, it's Matt from Maxon UK, and in this video, we're going to be looking at what Pose Morph is. So, Pose Morph is an incredibly powerful animation tool that allows you to pose and morph between one pose and another. Okay, so for example, I mean, it's it's sort of possibilities are endless, but it can take anything from a simple flat line and turn it into a smile. You can take two simple circles. Okay, and then you can open those up to become a face. It's a really useful and powerful tool. And you can even take a frown, for example, and then you can uh, turn it upside down. Okay, this is really, really powerful. So not only can you adjust splines, but you can adjust, you know, polygonal meshes as well in those sorts of ways. You know, it's a really useful really useful tool for being able to change facial expressions to do all sorts of things like that that allow you to take much easier control of your model and it's all done in this instance through what we call point level animation okay so you can edit what it is that you want to change you have a whole host of different poses that you can work on so if you want different poses for your eyes for example okay so if I just go over to one of my circles and then I edit it Okay, I've got that simple morph, or I could add another one. Okay, and it's really, really quick to do. So, all you need to do is add a pose and then take your points and you can move them about. So, imagine if you wanted a slightly more quizzical look there, and I've got that. Just go back to animate and I can put that one in, or I can adjust it. So you can choose the strength that these have and look how easy it was to just adjust that and then animate it. Okay, so Pose Morph is a brilliant thing and there will be more tutorials on going into it in more detail but this was just a quick what actually is it. So let's just see how quick it is to actually do. So I'm just going to do File and New and I'm going to create myself a sphere. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my tags and I'm going to go to my uh, character tags, there it is, and create a pose morph. And it's going to say, you know, what is it that I want to um, actually, you know, record. Um, so I'm going to choose scale in this one because I know what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make a squash and stretch for this ball. So base pose is where it is. And now I'm going to edit pose zero. So I'm just going to change my mode to object there so I can squish it okay and go back to my pose morph tag okay um, and then I'm going to add another pose and this pose I'm going to squish it that way so I now have some squash and stretch as it were for the ball bounce animations then just go to animate and I can easily you know I've, I've got this and you can rename them okay so if you wanted that that would be stretch that would be squash and then I go to the animate so they're at zero so that can squash really easily and then that can stretch okay or rather it squishes in one way perhaps I should have stretched it in which case I can just simply go to my edit I can go to the stretch pose and then I can stretch it out maybe make it a bit fatter so it stretches up rather than that way and if I don't like it at all I can just um, press delete and get rid of it and start again so add pose knowing that this is going to be the base one and then stretch it out and there we go I have really easy ability to do squash and stretch on a ball with the pose morph well I hope that was a useful and quick example for you and I will catch you next time